Watch 18, Mike Tyson, Razor Ruddick. Razor Ruddick dies. If he doesn't die, it doesn't count. If he's not dead, it doesn't count. Hi, doing everyone? My name is Ryan, and this is Ade, and welcome back to another edition of Box Talk. Long term middleweight champion and multiple champion at middleweight, Felix Durham steps up in weight to face former champion Robert Stieglitz, in which is a very interesting match. Ade, tell us about this fight. Crossroads match. You, it deserves that tag. It definitely is a crossroads match, and it's almost like a. And I hate to say it for Stern, because Stern's been a... You know, people might say he stays in Germany. Look at Stern's record. Stern yeah. does fight him. Stern and does fight him. He might get a couple of dodgy decisions, but he fights the people. He does, and Stern can fight. I mean, let's be honest, yeah. he, can, he can fight. To guy, I mean, guy serious. Yeah, I mean, people might have remembered him from the Oscar De La Hoya fight. We yeah. destroyed Oscar De La Hoya, yeah. and Simon got robbed. Yeah. So maybe that's why they do the Germany robbing, because of yeah. what they've done to him <laughs> over there. But this is almost like a. It definitely is for Sturm, unfortunately, a make or break and fight. Yeah. I mean, he's been well, he's been the one sixty king for a long yeah, time. Yeah. He's had the belts, lost them, had them, lost them. Yeah. But his last four or five fights have been a bit tough. Yeah. Obviously, he lost to Solomon. That got turned into a no contest. Yes. Um, lost to Daniel Gill. Yeah. Uh, then he's he's had a couple of wins yeah. in between that. Uh, winning Barker. his part back against Barker. Barker. Barker, but then Barker was really had that rib injury, so yeah, yeah, yeah. hip injury. Hip injury. And then he lost to Sam Solomon again. again. So for the last for weird for a guy that for ten years was so dominant. Yeah. The last four or five fights have kind of been like yeah. that. Going up and wait. He's, he's, he's a big 160, yeah. to be fair, but I don't know. See, we, like you said, with um, Felix Sturm, the cracks have started showing. Yeah. That he's, let's go. Sturm is a tremendous fighter and a tremendous, tremendous athlete. athlete. Tremendous athlete. The guy's in immaculate shape all the time. Not that to use range and distance. He uses his jab well. Has that good guard. And, you know, he gets in there and fights good fights and fights good guys. But one thing about boxing, one thing about life, you get older and things change now. Yeah. His style of sitting and taking lots of shots like that, I'm trying to say, does wear down your body. And wear, and now he's getting out-hustled later on in his career. As you mentioned previous other videos, when people start losing fights, they seem to jump weight instantly. Sturm ain't done that. He took his time, lost, came back, lost, came back. But now I think he feels that he's at, comes to the end of his career. He's in his mid-30s now. He, well, early, early, early mid he needs that extra weight now to compete with these other guys. And he ain't picked an easy guy for his first fight at super middleweight. Stevens is a former champion, but again, he's a guy that, well, as a champion, was always kind of the very last champion on the list. Yeah, Stevens was always that champion. Obviously, um, he's had the trilogy with Arthur Abraham where he won yeah. the belt, lost it, won it, lost it kind of thing. Um, he's been the champion. Everyone was almost like, we'll get him. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? He's been that kind of almost yeah. very similar to the way Sam Solomon is now. Yeah. That's the winnable yeah. champion. The thing for Sturm moving up in weight is that, yes, he might be fighting a 168 guy, but he's fighting a guy that I think walks around 200 pounds. Oh, yeah, he's a big You know what I mean? Steelix is a huge yeah. guy that balls yeah. himself down. So that might play into both hands. Well, Steelix, Sturm always tries to put the pressure on the last 30 yeah. seconds of every round. We know he does that. <laughs> it's a strange fight. <laughs> if Steelix wins, I don't think it gives Steelix much. No. Nah. Do you know what I mean? If Sturm wins... Yeah. Then Sturm's a good name to fight the likes of Arthur Abraham. Is Sturm, is Sturm with the silence? No, he left them a few years ago. They had a big dispute with them. And okay. now I swear he's by himself now. Okay, interesting. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but he had a big dispute with them. Mm. And they kind of had some sort of issue. They had some sort of issue. I was sure. thinking, because if, if, if he was, then obviously yeah. it opens up potential fights yeah. with Bros and Arthur Abraham. Yeah. If he's not, still, he's a big seller in Germany. Yeah. He gets big fights. Now, no, Sturm is a huge ticket seller. And, and like I said, Sturm is one of those guys that. If you if you were a betting man, you wouldn't really bet against him. No chance. So, he, so to, what Stern does well in boxing, which a lot of fighters, what a lot of fighters don't do, is that he wins rounds, yeah. round, four round, yeah. four round, four round. Yeah. He doesn't win the fight. No, he doesn't yeah. try, I won the early yeah. half. Yeah. He consistently wins round for round. He boxes round for round. Yeah. And it sounds it's, it's a weird thing to say, but you guys understand what I'm trying to say. That's what he does. So it's hard to bet against him. But like like I said, the cracks are showing. Mm. Stevens is a big guy and a former world title, title holder who could cause problems on him. Stevens is the type of guy that he tries to bother, he tries to wear you down as well. He kind of, not, I would say rough, but he's kind of rough and trusted. No, no, no. You know, he wants to try to, what's the word? He definitely bully you. He, he wants to bully you. He definitely does that. But Stern is Stern's that, he's almost like a very, he's almost like a chess player. Yeah. You, oh, sorry, a poker player. You wouldn't know that he's either hurt, he doesn't show that. Yeah. It doesn't get ruffled. Yeah. I've seen Sturm, we saw what Murray done to him, we saw Macklin, he went yeah. to the body yeah. numerous times, and he just seems to relax in that kind of that kind of shell yeah. that he has, and then he does that little 10-second burst at the last round, wins the round. 
So I don't think he's going to be afraid of Stings. I think Martin Murray is a huge 160 guy. Yeah. Matthew Matkin, not so. Much. Martin Murray is definitely a big guy. So he's been in there with yeah. big guys before. I think he's going to outbox Stegers. I think Stegers mm-hmm. is going to try and think, look, this guy's a 160 guy coming up. I can yeah. reasonably just, like I said, bully him. And I don't think he's going to bully Sturm. No. Especially in Sturm's hometown yeah. as well. I, f- I feel Sturm has much more ways to win this fight. Mm. But those hard fights, especially the ones with um, Murray and Macklin, those fights, I think, are what kind of pushes up. He's got mid up over the edge, where now he's no longer in his physical prime, and that's where the cracks started showing up in those fights and after those fights. I reckon if Stevens puts on the pressure early, hits him with some good shots and keeps hurting him, because since we the fight, Stevens is in with a very good shot of pulling the upset. See, would it be an upset first thing? Look, I've, I've looked at Sturm's uh, back catalogue recently, and to me, the only fighters that cause Sturm problems, even though his legs are starting to go, are movers. Yeah. Daniel Gill, 100 miles per hour moves. San Solomon, the trickiest yeah. star in the world, moves. Yeah. The guys that stay there and box, he, could tag. he still can tag. Yeah. Yeah. And this is why I think Stieglitz, yeah. Stieglitz doesn't move. Yeah. Stieglitz stays there. All those things seems bigger, Stieglitz doesn't move. And I think See, that's a Sturm fight. See, the problem is this. Sturm is a technical boxer. Mm. All that herky-jerky, unorthodox punch, he, he doesn't know he, what to do with he, it. Yeah, he's confused. He's yeah. confused. He can't, he can't read it as clean. Yeah. But those type of losses, and like I said, those are, they play with your confidence. Because mm. he knows how good he is. He's like, wait a minute. The boxer, the boxer always beats the puncher. Mm. The boxer's supposed to be the, the guy that's in control of everything. And he can't control those type of guys. So going in with this fight, knowing that he's had a couple of losses, he's not at his peak no more, fighting a guy who's bigger, tougher, and arguably a bigger puncher in the sense, whereas... He's the bigger man, the stronger mm. guy, coming from a much higher weight class down to him. I think if Steve puts the pressure early, he could put doubts in, in Sturm's mind. He can. I, I, I'm, I'm not expecting to see the same sort of Sturm we've seen in the last five or six fights. This is Sturm moving up in weight. I'm expecting Sturm to do something he never really does, and let's be on the bike a bit. Yeah. I think Sturm might move up. I think some Sturm might surprise us. Mm. One thing people really underrate with Sturm is how good a boxer he is. Yeah. He's a fantastic mm. boxer. We've seen that. I mean, he outboxed Oscar De La Hoya. Yes, it might have been a different yeah. weight, but he outboxed yeah. Oscar yeah. De La Hoya. And Oscar yeah. De La Hoya is an Olympic gold medalist yeah. boxer. So he can box. So I expect him to show that in this fight. I don't expect him to stay in the pocket like he does yeah. with a Murray or a Mack. Yeah. I expect him to move, jab, and just literally, like you say, win the rounds. Yeah. Sterling's one of the only boxers that I think goes back to every corner and knows what round it is. Yeah. He never asks the corner man what round it is. He is so calculated. And I expect him just to pull out I don't know who would be an upset on who, but I took him to get the victory. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. I'm going for Sturm by a clear but compared decision that four and eight. Okay, there you go, guys. This is a 168 division is an interesting one. Um, and Sturm, if he does win, look, he can sell tickets. He's a big money player in Germany, so he will get the fights at 168 if he does win. Um, and I think he will win. Ryan thinks he will win. It'll be a close fight because Stigas is stronger, but I expect Sturm to do what he's been doing or what he hasn't been doing for years, which is finally box. Show us that boxing skill that enabled you to go to America and outbox the boxer in De La Hoya. If he does, good fights in Germany to come, as per usual. Email us at boxtalk at hotmail.co.uk and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at boxtalkuk. Also, guys, don't forget to subscribe. You know the usual. Thanks for checking us out. Check out ringnews24.com.